Hi everybody, this is Georgia Baker out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. I want to take a few seconds and thank each and every one of you for joining me on my video today. And I also want to I also want to wish each and every one of you a happy Independence Day. I hope you all have a wonderful, loved, fulfilled day um, as you spend this time of freedom and liberty with your friends, friends and family and be safe out there, okay? So for the month of July, we're going to be talking about our reasons why on achieving our goals. Knowing your why before you wonder how is more important than anything. If you know your why, the how doesn't matter. It's as simple as that. Knowing your reasons for doing your business, for getting an education, for practicing your game so hard, for eating healthy and exercising every single day is easily the one of the most important things that you can do to have success in achieving your goals. Remember, things are not always going to come easy, but there's always a simple solution. The biggest reason that people fail is because when life's challenges and distractions come along and arise, they focus more on the negative part of it. They ask themselves questions like, why is this so hard? Why can't this be easy for me? That kind of thing. The difference between that type of a person and the people who are successful and always achieving their goals um, is that successful people focus on their reasons and their whys because when your why is so strong enough that there's nothing that can stop you from achieving your, your goals. Del Calvert says, if, you, if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not strong enough. I thought that was kind of funny the first time that I heard him say that because I have heard him say it multiple times. But, and it took me a little while to understand that concept. But when your whys, when, when your dreams and your goals are the first thing that you wake up thinking about and the last thing you think about when you're going to bed, then you're going to have some really, really strong whys. And I suggest that each and every one of you take a piece of paper and write down your reasons why that you want to achieve those, achieve those dreams and those goals. You want your why to be so strong, so intimate, so powerful that when you fail, you can look at your whys and see another simple solution to achieve your goals. That's how intimate and how strong that your why should be. And that's why he says that if your whys aren't strong enough to make you cry, then they're not strong enough. So really, really sit down and think about it and and just get really intimate with yourself and experience and expose those whys and write them down. Les Brown says, if you take responsibility for yourself, you will develop a hunger to accomplish your dreams. So the first step in taking responsibility for yourself is knowing your whys, okay? I want to encourage each and every one of you to write down your whys. Keep a copy with them with you everywhere you go. Post it on your bathroom mirror. Keep a copy in your wallet or your purse. Keep a copy at your desk. Keep it wherever you are so that way when you are feeling discouraged and, and unmotivated, you can pull them out and look at them and say, okay, these are my whys. This is what's going to keep me going. This is what's going to get me through today and help me to achieve my long-term goals and dreams. So just have them with you wherever you go. I keep a copy on my bathroom mirror. I keep a copy in my bedroom where I put on my makeup, in my car, um, inside my purse, at work. Um, everywhere I go, I have a copy of my whys. So write down your tip, top 10 whys and keep them with you everywhere you are. And you know, if you're enjoying my videos, um, I ask you to please just subscribe to my videos on my YouTube page. Continue to follow with, follow me and listen to these videos. I want to encourage each and every one of you on a daily basis as much as possible. And if you're on Instagram or Twitter, find me on Instagram and Twitter and follow me. If you're on Facebook, feel free to friend me, follow me, join my support group, share your comments about my videos, your thoughts, 
um, and, and your suggestions and questions. I'd love to speak to each and every one of you and uh, just have you all a part of my life is a blessing. So take care, take charge, and have an awesome 4th of July, and I will be talking with you all soon. We will be talking a little bit more on our reasons why as we come back next week. Thank you. Bye. I wonder what would happen if you say that you want.